Hey guys, it's Truma here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a money making guide. Uh, the only stat requirement here is 66 magic. As you can see, I've only just got this, so I haven't been doing this for too long now. And uh, the one equipment which you're going to need is an air staff. This will just save you money in bringing air runes. And any light uh, lightness equipment. So anything that's going to make your inventory lighter. So that could be a sparred cape. I'm using boots of lightness and any of the agility armor you can get. Uh, also, you want to bring an amulet of glory and uh, a ring of doing. But these depend... The amount of these that you want are completely dependent on how many you're going to do. So, for example, you're going to use one charge of each per an inventory. Uh, your inventory should look like this. You should have 81 cosmic runes. Runes. I won't bring any more, just because there's a lot of PKers that do go around these areas. So, if you're not careful, you could, like, say if you bring 3,000, you could lose 3,000 of them. And uh, also, you want your unpowered orbs. So, to start with, we simply run down. Uh, this dungeon and uh, if you just follow the path I'm just going to be talking about the prices and profits from this so I've figured out the total profit to be 478k at the moment which is like from the OS buddy price on the data that I've produced the video so obviously this is going to vary no price is going to stay the same so it could be more or less I think in the last couple of months it's gone up so it could go up a bit more which I hopefully does hopefully does so the profit per inventory, let's have a look here, I've written down is 23,409 GP. But uh, the, that's not including the charge per the charges per uh, the teleport, so that's for the glory and the ring of dueling. Uh, altogether with the cost that them at cost added, I think it's around 608 coins at the moment. So that's you'll be taking that away from each inventory, which will leave you with 22,801 GP profit per inventory that is so you simply come here you can click charge air orb spell on the obelisk and now uh, these will just fill up over time so you want to watch out for any pks which will be like most likely be stood here so i would usually stand on this side so um you can see the skull maybe or see the people come straight over so you can teleport out or log out or climb down a ladder whatever you want to do to try and get away and so i was saying it's 22,801 GP per inventory, which isn't too bad because it's pretty much AFK. It's just you had chance, you had the risk of being killed for it. So, um, from looking at Reddit, I found that you can do 580 air orbs an hour from doing this method, which that's if you're not doing any AFK or anything and you're doing it as quick as possible. So that is around 21.5 inventories, but I've just rounded it down to 21 for this video, which uh, times in that by so times in 21 by the profit that we met per inventory uh, I found out that it is 478,821 GP profit at the moment this is going by the prices of OS buddy as well so these are what the active prices are in the grand exchange and I'll just wait for this inventory to finish up and then I'll show you why we have the ring of dueling as well as having the glory because you could skip out on the Ring of Dueling, but then you may need stamina potions or you may just need to walk. Like, for the profit per hour, I think the charges for doing this, it's like, it's not expensive at all, so I would honestly recommend it. Right, so I've got one more to do now. Right, so from here, we teleport to Clan Wars. And we can run west towards the bank. So you can either do this here or at Edgeville, it, it's completely up to you, I'm just going to do it here for this video. So you want to get out 81 Cosmic Runes again, and your Unpowered Orbs. What you want to do is you want to run into this free for all portal. And when you're in here, we're just wanting to teleport out. Back to Edgeville. And as you can see, this has reset our run, and it may also reset your prayer, I'm not too sure. Because I like to pray when I go past the Black Lizard Demons so I don't die. Well, I don't get hit for much because I am one defense. And then you just start the money making again. So, you know, this method's not too hard at all. It's like it's not that much grinding or anything. Uh, and the only requirements for it again were only 66 magic. And to be honest, like I would say it's cheap magic XP, but it's not because you're making money from it. So, if anything, it's profitable. Which, uh, well, magic is pretty rare, to be honest, but it's not too much magic XP per hour. I think it's around, if it's around 580 orbs, I think it's probably about 35k, 40k XP per hour. Which, honestly, isn't too bad for making a profit at the same time. 
So that's all for this video. Uh, drop it a like if it helped you. And uh, feel free to subscribe because I will be bringing out more money making guides. Maybe some other videos or tutorials. Maybe quest guides. Uh, I'm unsure what this channel is going to be used for yet. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.